good food, fancy clothes, magnificent places, monumental palaces, guards, etc. But if you see the lifestyle of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he mended his own clothes, he repaired his own shoes, he milked the goat, and he did his own household work. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go funny. And we are funny Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel, you're the video's MVP. And also the most important thing guys, we wanna thank the people who've been suggesting that we should go react to particular videos that they've been giving us. You are also the realest MVP. And if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse and we do a lot of reaction videos. Just be free to give us any type of reaction videos and we're gonna do it for you. So today a lot of people actually suggested on us to do on us doing this video right here. And they say that we should go react to reply to critic critics who say that Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, wrote the Quran and attribute it to God. And this was from the uh, Zakir Naik. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. There are some critics who say that maybe the Prophet attributed the Quran though he was the author because he wanted fame, status, glory as well as leadership. According to Michael H. Hart, he writes in his book, the hundred most influential persons in the history of humankind and he analyzes all the human beings from Adam peace be upon him till the present time and undisputedly he puts Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as number one as being the most influential person in the history of humankind so if you wanted to become a leader he didn't have to claim that the Quran was from God if he actually was the author. And Michael H. Hart, he gives reasons for each person why did he give him number one, number two, number three, etc. And at the end of the biography he says that it was the indisputable secular and religious influence of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that makes him the undisputable number one person to have the most influence in human history. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, if he wanted glory, fame, power, leadership, he was so eloquent. He had all the qualities. He did not have to falsely attribute the Quran to Almighty God. He had all the abilities. And if we analyze logically, any person who wants power, glory, leadership, fame, status, along with him is attached good food, fancy clothes, magnificent places, monumental palaces, guards, etc. But if you see the lifestyle of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he mended his own clothes, he repaired his own shoes, he milked the goat, and he did his own household work. He sat on the floor and ate. When he went to the marketplace, he didn't have any colorful guards. He was an example of simplicity and humbleness. And anyone who invited him, even the poor people, used to accept their invitation and used to eat whatever was served to him. So much so that his enemies, they pass a remark, which is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah. Chapter number 9, verse number 61. Oh, he listens to everyone. His enemies, they were angry. What kind of a person is this? He listens to each and everyone, even the poor people. And there are many instances and occasions which are recorded in history and in the Ahadith. And one such instance is there was a representative from the pagan Arabs by the name of Fodoba. And he comes to the Prophet and says that we will give you all the wealth in Arabia, make you the richest man of Arabia. 
We will even make you the leader. If you want, we'll make you the king. Only thing we want from you is that you should stop spreading this message that there is one God. If the prophet wanted leadership, if he wanted to become the king, he would have accepted this offer very easy. There are several examples. We have the example that when the pagan Arabs, they told his uncle Abu Talib that ask him if you to give up the message of universal brotherhood, of the oneness of God. He replies to his uncle that even if they put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand, I will not stop my mission. I will not stop spreading this message until the day I die or whatever Allah wills. There was a time when his son Ibrahim, he died and it coincided with an eclipse. Ibrahim. So immediately the people said, ah, this is a sign from God. The sun is mourning because a person has died. The son of Muhammad peace be upon him. Immediately the prophet replied and he said that the sun and the moon, they are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do not eclipse because of the birth or the death of any human being. If he wanted fame and power, it was a very good opportunity. He could have said, yes, because my son died, we see the heavens are mourning. But he didn't do that because he's a truthful person. What do you think? I didn't get some thoughts. What do you think? Um, did you hear the part where he said they tried, they said we can make a king of this and that as long as he stops spreading the news? The way that there's only one God? Yeah, Abu Muhammad, yeah. It just shows how the world works nowadays that has been operating for a while now. They try to buy you from something that you believe, from spreading mm -hmm. the truth sometimes. Mm -hmm. Which is sad. Do I think what was the question? Um, if I, I don't think he was trying to be famous. I highly mm -hmm. doubt that. But then, if you've got a, a lot of following, like people really believe in your teachings, they are bound to spread the word, hence the popularity. And then another thing he said, um, I also think he's bound to be quite popular or famous as other people would want to call him because he was the last prophet, mm -hmm. uh, last, messenger. last messenger. Yeah. So he gets that attention. He's got like a big role to play in the world if he's the last messenger. Mm -hmm. So he should, maybe he came with some deep, deep teachings or lessons, whatever you want to call them. So what do you think? I like the fact that Prophet Muhammad was a humble person to begin with. Because <clears throat> he humbled himself to an accent that he didn't call himself a leader, he didn't call himself a famous or whatever person. He wasn't dressed in a flashy whatever. You know, nowadays things have changed. And you see people who we call like they're probably the imams and maybe the sheikh, maybe the pastors. These people in this religion uh, Sect. I mean, you see them how they are. They are really flashy. Some of them they drive expensive cars and whatnot, and having bodyguards around them, which actually uh, defeats the meaning of of what of uh, of religion. You get it? Defeats the meaning of um, the meaning of what what religion is and stuff like that. Because when you look at Muhammad, and probably when you uh, try to read about Muhammad you find out that his life was just a simple life and he didn't want anything like he didn't want fancy things, fancy things you get it I think maybe the, the people who were coming in trying to buy him out and stuff like that and he was like no so that made him even more different for example today if somebody comes to me and or maybe to any other person who's out there you know that you have a lot of problems in your life probably somebody's offering like 10,000 billion Sorry, 10, 10 billion, 10, 10, 10, 10 billion shilling, my currency in Kenya. That person will ought to take that money and you know, go away and do what that other person 
uh, wants him to do and stuff like that. But look at Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was really, really humble. I mean, he wouldn't take anything for just for the sake of him changing his perspective towards the religion of Islam. Or maybe it's just him uh, teaching people, or maybe you get it. And that's made him famous. And it's just like when you. Uh, leaders, a true leader is not that is that leader who doesn't want to become a leader. You understand? It's not pompous. Yes. Is, is, what is pompous? The meaning? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you try to show that you're strong. Yeah, yeah. You try to show like, like I yes. Can do this. Uh, yes, you know how leader. when you're a prefect and you say, uh, "Don't do that," so yeah. do something. Too. I mean, there are people that you don't like expect. The yeah, you don't expect them to even become leaders, but just through their actions and how they talk and their humbleness and how they treat other people that's a very good uh, attribute too yes i mean very very informative and i don't think he wanted i don't think he wanted to be confused no he did not yeah. he just said that whenever some truth comes out there they'll try to shut it down it doesn't matter whether just to do with religion or medical issues as well yeah, true. Like today, people if somebody, yeah, people go missing. We we read a lot of news. I don't know whether it's true or false, but any 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 other way, either way, facts. Today, if you come up with a cure for, let's say, cancer, you think you're gonna, they'll come for you. They will look for you, find you, kidnap you, probably put put you in a dungeon somewhere, and then probably they're gonna. They're gonna ask you, please give us the formula of the giving out. Did they ask? Did they even ask nicely? Uh, of course, they're gonna ask you in a polite way. The and formula? then the moment, you know, these people are really smart. Do you I think, think they so. want the formula? Probably. Or maybe they have the cure. They just want to eliminate you. You get it. But they will want to know what kind of formula you use. Of course, they're gonna ask you what's the formula. And, and then. Dr. Sefi. If you think that he asked this guy for formula, no, I'm that's why he really he came up with his natural things. Yeah, I see. What happened? What he was arrested? He was arrested. He was arrested, and then they claimed that he died out of pneumonia. How? The mm. person that knew everything to do with uh, medicine, he died of pneumonia. Come on, man. That's so. Another example is the guy was it in China or something mm -hmm. that injected some baby with. An AIDS resistance thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. Too. Even the hospital that he was working for, I think, tonight. The guy went missing, yeah? Did he go missing? I don't know what happened to him. You see, I mean, good people out there who want the best for the, the world. for the world, they are the ones who go, uh, they are the ones who go missing. They are the ones who are being criticized the most. They are the ones who are being tortured. Like I don't get it. Why? There's a guy who went and stole money to give out to the to the poor. The one the yeah, the one who hacked the bank and gave the money to the poor. Guess what? This guy was killed. Anyway, executed. executed. I understand that. Okay, stealing is bad by law and whatnot. But come on, guys. This guy was trying to help the world. Mm -hmm. Most of these big people out there, they steal a little money from the. Is that people from the people committing went so crying. Yeah. And that free. And yeah, exactly. Especially the. The leaders that we have today, people commit bigger crimes and they go scot free just because they have money to pay. You understand? You pay your bond and you go free. They've got the money to buy yeah. evidence, buy whatever um, they want to buy. But just, in your overall, I don't think um, Muhammad was doing this for fame. Yeah, I, I don't think so. The way he was so humble, no. It was just an amazing person. Anyway, guys, if you feel like we react to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section. Tell us exactly what you think about our videos and what do you think about this video right here. Reply to critics who says that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought the Quran and attribute it to God. Just let us know what you think. Let us know in the comment section below. We'll be really happy to read your comments and you'll be able also to comment. And the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last one of the least we're going to see you in the next video and peace out